hi guys welcome back to my channel um for today's makeup look as you saw on the title i'm just going to show you how you can unoxidize your foundation um make your foundation if your foundation is a bit too orange too yellow just not the right shade for you yes this is your kind of video this is the video that you should look at and that friend of yours you know that friend show her this video show him this video show everyone that you have seen looking orange yellow and crazy in the streets that's the main um message from for, from me today i want to show you how you can look even with a foundation that looks uneven on your skin tone so first and foremost what you're going to do is use your primer you don't want to skip this step so for today i'm going to be using this yardly primer this is a very important step so make sure that you do it and i usually put it on my um on my problem areas where i have smile lines where i have pores that's where i usually put my primer so i'm just going to rub it in into those areas but what you want to do is put it everywhere but focusing on those areas so i already done my eyes off camera because you know this is not an eyeshadow tutorial or uh, anything but eyes tutorial so i just thought let me just save you guys some time and do my eyes off camera so what i'm going to be using is this uh, maybelline matte and polish foundation and the color is 340 i don't know why it's not focusing yeah the color is 340 this is the foundation that i'll be using so this foundation um makes me orange it, it always has actually made me orange but you know you can't return you can't return let me see you can't really return foundations after you've opened them so i just had to make it work so this is how it has uh helped me to know how to work out this kind of problem with foundations but you don't want to wear foundation that is obviously not your skin tone so if you can avoid it please 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 do so that you don't have to make uh, mistakes and look crazy as you can see it's orange like it's orange yes but it's much more closer to my neck than my face so what i've noticed is uh dark skin women usually are darker on the face on the hands on your legs especially if you wear a lot of shorts and are walking in the sun like i told you in my previous video that i have been um walking about in the sun that's why my skin is changing and but i have my umbrella with me i have my sunscreen with me like i'm never without those things people who know me know that i always have an umbrella always have sunscreen always have protective wear like if it's hot and i have to go to the stores i make sure that i wear long sleeves I'll be sweating but my skin will be protected so that is how I usually roll so what I'm doing here I'm just buffing in the foundation into my skin um, there's no way to avoid this if your if your foundation is this yellow or this orange so you just want to do your normal buffing your normal pressing into your skin just so everything seems even, seems spread out evenly, you know. So that's what I'm doing now. I thought I was recording all this time. So I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me 
concealer and it's in the number 50 and I'm just putting it where I want to highlight my face that's all so I'm going to take my brush not this one let me take this one no this one so I'm going to be using it just to buff it out as well like I was doing the foundation so this technique that I'm about to show you is a technique that you can, that you can also use on uh, concealer if your concealer is a, is looking a bit crazy on your skin you can also use this this kind of technique that I'm about to show you so you just want it to land into that foundation into your skin yes just like that so i'm done with my concealer as you can see i still look orange so trust the process we are getting to it so what i'm using now um is this yardly translucent powder this one so i'm just going to put it on my problem on my like everywhere where the foundation and the concealer went but mostly where the concealer went so i'm just going to dab it into my sponge tap off the excess and then press it So what I'm going to be doing now, I still have a bit of powder on my face, it's okay, we'll fix that in a minute. So I'm going to be contouring my face and this is actually a very crucial step. Make sure that your contour is a tad darker than your actual uh, skin. You see how dark it is like it's so dark but it, you can see how it resembles it could fit into my niche like my uh darker skin that is just there on my neck so that's what i'm doing now i'm contouring my face make sure that you have no harsh lines especially with the contour you don't want to look like you, you drew this darker color on your skin you see i have i have like three colors the dark one this yellow and this um my natural skin color So what I'm going to do next for this um, color, as you can see, it, it's becoming a bit better. It's not as orange as it was. So now what I'm going to use is this um, Maybelline Fit Me. So Yardley Maybelline is your girls. So I'll be using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish Powder. And my color is 355 Cinnamon. So with this one, make sure that you use a pressed powder that is to your skin tone. Use the normal one that is to your skin tone and press it. Just press, don't buff it out, just press it into your skin, into your foundation, leaving off that contour part. So you want to put it where you didn't put the contour where there's just foundation As you can see I look so much better so the final step that we're going to use is to always use your instant 
instant matte makeup spray so this will just help blend everything and make it set onto your skin properly so shake 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 We're done with this makeup look guys i wore this top just so you guys could see the difference between my bare bare skin and my face and it looks good it looks perfect it looks blended it looks cohesive so that orange thing that orange oxidization of the foundation it's no more just with those steps you can easily make your face look good but make sure that you buy quality products guys don't buy you know those products there comma cooling no don't buy those products if you buy those products it might be hard i'm not sure i've never used but i feel like it might be hard because they are not quality products so they're not made for the skin so that's why i'm saying use quality products that you can use and you can easily blend them so yes that is my those are my tips of how you can easily make your skin look flawless without looking orange yellow or a different color that you are not happy with so i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys will subscribe i hope you guys like this video please comment down below and tell me what other videos you want to see i'll be glad to do your vi any videos any suggestions and yes and that's the end of the video i hope you like it i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one bye guys share with those those guys you know those orange people that are working down the streets share with them share with your friends too you know which one i'm talking about The oxidation, oxidization. Uh -uh.